Hello friends, welcome to this uh, very special video. I'm currently here in uh, Bristol visiting my friends uh, Richard and Emerson and we have a very special guest on the show this week and he's got something very special to show you too. My special friend Richard. Hello, Richard. Hello, Stephen. Very nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's <laughs> you, you, you're welcome to have me. What? <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's a very nice hat you're wearing. Thank you very much. Did you did, did you get that down M and S? No, the Pang store. Oh, I can tell. Thank you. Mm. It's very nice. Very nice. It's very fetching. So. You have something to show us in this uh, most special of episodes. I do, something very special and big. Is it? Is it, yes. is it big and blue? It is, yes. Is it? Would you like to tell us about it? I would. It's a dream vacuum cleaner that I've always wanted since I saw them in 1986 at the MEB slash Curry's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But never got one. Oh. Until now. Until now. All these years later. All these years later, I've got one. That's amazing. What is it? It's an Electrolux 561 Ooh. twin turbo. Yes. Automatic deluxe electronic. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> would you like to show it to us? I would very much like to show it to you. Go on then. Would you like to see it? I would very much like to see it. I shall move my wall track away. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. So, where did you find this? I happened to be perusing Facebook Marketplace one lonely evening mm -hmm. and I came across this and I thought, do you know what? That's mine. That's yours. I'm having that. You wanted it. I did. You did and you bought it. I did. I messaged the seller. Yes. Lynn. Yes. And she replied and said it's still for sale. Nice. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. All my dreams have come true. All at once. All at once. Amazing. And where did you find it? It was in Cumbran. In Scotland? No, I believe that's in Wales. Oh, that's in Wales? Yes. yes. Very magical mystery country. Across a special bridge. Yes. You don't have to pay for it anymore. You don't? Yes, thank God. Yes. So, so got, you jumped in the car. I did. I got my vintage Volvo sports sedan. Yeah. Put £10 of petrol in it. And I zhushed across yeah. to Cumbran. To Cumbran. And then you met Lynn. I did. And you snatched it from her. I did. She thought I was going for a chest of drawers to begin with. <laughs> she had several items for sale. It's very confusing. I said, no, it's that Uber yes. I want. You silly cow. So she threw it over her fence. Yeah. Social distancing. Remember that? And you, you caught it. I did. Yes. And put it in the car and drove off mm -hmm. and got lost. Did I then put the sat nav back on. Oh, well done. Well done. Did you pay her for it? I did, yes. Right, how much was it? It was £15, which you believe it. That is amazing. £15. £15. That 15 is pounds. really, really amazing. It's something in such good nick as well. Yes, it is beautiful. That is a fantastic find. I, I must say I am very, very jealous. I, I, I've seen probably two of these in my life. And they've all been shit, haven't yes, they? Yes, they have. They have, sadly. But this is in lovely nick. So tell us about its features. Well... As one can see, it's an upright vacuum cleaner. Very good for carpets, fitted, or rugs. It has a rear entry port. Always useful. For its tools. It has very high suction, mm -hmm. considering its era and the upright design. Can I just ask, how many watts is it? It is, if I remember correctly, I believe it's 560 watts. Right, so that means it's got the same motor as the 612. It had mm. very much so. Mm. And I believe the same as the 506 and the 560. 560, yes. I believe. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right, because they were always 10 watts more than the standard machines, but didn't have electronic power. No, that's mm. what the poor people got. It was. Talking of electronic power, it does have electronic speed control. Yes. Minimum, medium, yes. and maximum. Yes. Covers 
All ranges of floor coverings. Anything you could want to clean. Exactly. Beautiful. Anything else? Oh, it does, tells me the bag's full. Oh, well, that's always good, isn't it? There's a little red light, I believe it's this side, mm -hmm. will flutter when the bag is full, or possibly a blockage. Yes. Yes. And we all need a red light when we've got a blockage. Yes. Mm. Mm. It does help. It helps massively, I find. <laughs> it does. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. And it's got a little neon light that lights up. A neon light? That tells you that it's switched on. Because if you're deaf, you might not hear <sighs> that the machine is running. <laughs> well, that's very useful. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. Well, that's a very nice overview. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Do you want to see its bottom? No. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look how clean it is. That's a very clean bottom. Thank you very much. One thing I did find interesting, because over the years, I have had many experiences of the 500 series. Mm -hmm. From the 500 in 1971, I believe that came yes, out. Yes, 71, yes, yes. Up until whenever they finished, I can't remember. But apart from this one, all the ones I've seen had the little silver strip on the bottom. Let me show you the bottom oh, again. Oh, yeah, yeah, around the base plate. There is no silver. No, there isn't. That's very strange, isn't it? Mm. I thought it dropped off. Mm. I've had that problem before. But I thought, no. No. They'd probably taken that off mm. as a money-saving... A cost-cutting measure. Cost-cutting measure, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. It would be interesting to see the, um, the non-electronic e version of this. And I can't remember the model number of that. No, I, off the top it of my head, do I can't no, remember. No, because you, you kind of think, oh, perhaps it was the 560, but we all know that the 560 was the top of the range. Top of the range from 1983. Yes. Um, which this machine is the direct replacement for. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. And this, if I'm not mistaken, was the last machine to have this style motor hood. I believe you're right, Steve. Yes, because I, I believe in 88 they went over to the twin turbo. Yes, and no, not sorry, twin turbo mark two. See, I got confused when oh. I did the 1020 video. It happens. You, you do so many videos. I know, I do, I do. We won't mark you down for that. Thank you, thank you. Just don't look at the. No, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but you're correct. The hood was different. Yes, yes, and this machine has this very odd. Well, what, what would you call it? An appendage, a bulbous end, a bulbous on end. It. Super glued onto the front of it. And now it's very strange. I have to say, I quite like the graphics. Mm. However, it's almost like you've said it's been super glued on. It's I, I keep wanting to think it's like a five hundred four, mm. mm. five hundred six, five hundred sixty, and there should be a an angular curve. Yes, to it exactly because you can see it here. You can actually see it in the moulder. So this this. Motor hood moulding is exactly the same as what was on the 550, the, the 560, 504, 506, all of them. Exactly. It's exactly the same, but they have just stuck this blue piece of plastic on the front, and it's very, very odd. Now, may I add something to that? Please do. When I was cleaning it and giving it a slight service, and I had the brush roller out, you can still see, I don't know the technical term for this, but the suction adjustment oh. that they used to have on the 504. Yes, the cutout. Yes, exactly. Yes. That yes. was still there. Right. Right. So was it was it covered up? Or was it, it was covered. It looked, if you imagine a 504, mm -hmm. 506, 560, it looked exactly the same underneath. And in fact, it, there's the white piece of plastic, mm -hmm. the cover, everything there. But there was no knob on top to adjust the suction. That is very odd. So it's just a white piece of plastic fixed in place to cover that yeah. hole. Exactly. Now oh, that is very strange. So you could sort of retrofit this. If you, if you took that panel off and you had the slider mechanism from a 504, say, you could actually, you could actually <laughs> put it on it. You could. I'm sure if we price this off now, you would see... Mm. Oh, it, I don't know which end it is. I always get ends confused. Oh, we know that. It's the story of my life. Mm. Mm. It's happened many times. Yes. Ended a few relationships. Mm -hmm. um, you could put the slider control on, yes. but it was it was, the, and it had the screws. You could even unscrew it. It's the whole seal, oh, I know what you the mean. plate, it's like a plate, yeah, it's a plate, yes, yes. 
It's very strange. So it's obviously, let's use all the odd, let's design a new top handle section, mm -hmm. but keep everything else. Yes, no, because this, 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 well, it's almost the same, isn't it? This um, bag compartment is almost the same. The, the clip is different than from the earlier. Um, yeah, it's a wider clip. Machines. Obviously made of plastic and not mm. made of alloy metal, and it is slightly wider. Mm -hmm. But from this section down, it's basically the same as the yeah. original 500 series Electrolux. Amazing. Amazing. It doesn't have the... Let's just turn it around so we can just show everyone. You do what you want. It's your special day. It is my special day. It doesn't have the suction control here on the um, tool port because obviously being an electronic machine, there's no need to have the valve there. But they didn't have that on the 504 because you had the slider control there. Oh, that's true actually, isn't it? Yes, good point. Good point. Thank you. But they did have it on the 550. Yes, they did. Yeah, yeah so I could have it on the front and the back. That was the lower end. Yeah, why don't on the front and the back? That was stupid. I don't know. Again, were they, did they have hindsight they're going to make this and change the bits up? Because obviously the 560 had the electronic speed control. Yes. Yes. And 560 had the blanking. It did, yes. <laughs> yes, with no valve. No. Yes. Fascinating. Well, that's a wonderful overview. Thank you ever so much. And thank you so much for coming up the show. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> You're so welcome for having me. I am. I'm very welcome to having him. Very welcome. Six years now. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to take it into the boudoir and we are going to give it a run so you can see, see the machine working. Um, it does need a new belt, doesn't it? The, uh, the belt is very stretched. Yes, it's a bit slack. Very slack. Yes. Very it's slack. Slightly slack. It's slack very belt. sad in a way that it's so slack. Yes. However, a new belt. It's been well used, that belt. It's it? been very, very well mm. used mm. for mm. various different applications. applications and reasons. However, a new belt would just improve it so much. It would sort it right out. It would be, it, it would be, it would be like a new one, wouldn't it? It would be. I shall save my pocket money and I shall then purchase a new belt yes yes well that's brilliant well let's have a look at it running massive thank you to uh, richard for coming on the show it's been wonderful to it's been lovely meeting you, you all and chatting to you all thank you for having me it's our pleasure literally so let's go
Well, friends, we've got an extra special guest with us. This is Emerson, Rich, Rich's husband. And I've just got one really simple, really quick question for him. So, Emerson, what do you think about collecting vacuum cleaners? He drives me mad. <laughs>